It is tournament time for the UT Tyler Lady Patriots after their best season ever with 22 wins and a regular season ASC conference crown. The real season starts on Friday and it'll take place right here in Tyler. Here's our Jeff Schaefer with more. Eric, the UT Tyler women's basketball team just wrapped up the most successful regular season in program history. And now the Lady Patriots are in prime position to make a run in the American Southwest Conference Tournament. UT Tyler is not only the tourney's number one overall seed, but will host the tournament for the second time in program history. Being here and they get to sleep in their own beds at night and, and eat the food they normally eat and all that kind of stuff. So those little things, they do add up and hopefully it'll add up in our favor. Just to be on our home court and having the chance to cut down our own nets makes it all the better. I mean, this court is our court. This is our home. We're going to protect it, and that's it. It's been tough. I mean, we had some mountains. We had some valleys. I mean, we had some days where, you know, we had to get better, and it took a long time to get better, but we're here, and I'm glad we're here. That I'm glad our team is here and that we made it together as one unit. Being a senior, and I know the three other seniors, like, we just want to go out with, like, a bang, and we've gotten everything that we've set. Like, each goal we've chased, and we've accomplished it, so I don't see this weekend being any different. <laughs> It's a huge honor to earn the right to host this thing. So I, I hopefully the, the city of Tyler and, and the students on campus can realize that and, and we can pack this gym on Friday night. In Tyler, Jeff Schaefer, CBS 19 Sports. Thank you, Jeff. Here are the tournament details for you. Round one on Friday. Lady Patriots play Letourneau at 7.30 Friday night. The semifinals are Saturday. Championship game Sunday at 2 o'clock. Also, congrats to the UT Tyler men. They play over at UT Dallas starting at 5 p.m. this Friday.